Hey guys, welcome to another great episode of Integrity Insider. My name is Shubham Agarwal from the LND team. Here we have today Ms. Jimmy Ajmera, who has been working at Integrity since the past four years. She has been a pioneer in the accounting and taxation field and is at a managerial position and leading a team of around 10 people. So Jimmy, how are you doing? Thanks Shubham, thanks for inviting me on this show. It's great to be here and to be a part of this platform. So Jimmy, let's start with how your professional journey has been, how you started, how you got into the accounting industry. Let's hear it from you. Yeah. So uh, basically, uh, it has been a great journey, you know, from right from being an associate to where I am today. It's been a great journey and definitely it hasn't been a one with an easy go road. But as it is said, Safar Khubsurat and Manzil Sevi. So surely I would believe on that. Uh, and the journey. So explaining about that, I, I started as an associate and uh, I, I had an experience of inter CA background. So I had a knowledge in accounting, of Indian accounting and Indian taxation. So uh, it was high time I was, uh, you know, failing in my finals exam. So it was high time for me to take a decision for my future. So then I decided based on my experience and I had picked interest in US taxation and accounting. Also, I had then planned to pursue for CPA. So uh, because of that thought, I, I, I you know, chose offshoring as my career and Integrity has been my first job. So I'm really very happy that I took that decision and I'm here till today and sitting with you and talking about this stuff. So it has been an amazing experience for me and it has been a great platform for me and my career. That's good to know. I'm managing a team of my own and I can proudly say I started as a lone wolf, but definitely I am the alpha of my pack now. Oh wow, that's inspiring. Yeah. You got this knowledge of great many industries across various domains. Superb. So today we'd like to talk on a topic with something Jimmy can relate to, I can relate to and a lot of other young women can relate to and that is struggle of women in the offshoring accounting industry and how we can rise through it. So Jimmy, in India, especially in the tier 2 cities, we see that parents have still evolved into moving the child towards having a greater education, especially girls. But when it comes to moving out of the house and having a job, that is where it's still frowned upon. So what do you have to say about that? Did you face something like that? Okay, so uh, I remember my first day in integrity and like my manager introduced me to the whole team and I, I still remember my first question was why do we have, so many, we have so many less women as compared to the man in our team? To which he responded, it's, it's difficult to hire women in offshoring industry because of the shift timings. They are not so much comfortable with the shift timing. So if we see nowadays, it's, it's changing, you know, people are getting educated and they are also explaining their families and they are making them understand how, how important it is to grab an opportunity you know in this cutthroat competition and as you know it's definitely the offshoring industry is a boom right now so yeah you are right that we have that uh, tendency but as i have seen if we see today in integrity itself this was a question raised by me when i was hired but if i see today i see a lot of women working over here in you know as compared to the earlier years so yeah definitely you have your answer over there <laughs> yeah the times are changing no doubt especially with our company yeah yes yeah. the married women and the working mothers as well they face a lot of hardship and to, they have to overcome a lot of struggle to actually make use of their education and their hard-earned degree to work in the offshore and accounting industry. What do you think is the reason behind this mindset of the society at large? Okay, so under to understand this, I would like to you know, explain something like you already know, but offshoring requires to work with a different clients, with clients at all across the globe, like different different countries, US, UK, New Zealand. Okay, so so basically again it comes to that. We have to overcome the time difference that is there. So that needs us to work sometimes later part in the night timings, shift night shift timings. So it's you know still the Indian families are not so much comfortable with letting the women out uh, so late at night because of the safety reasons definitely. Also uh, the society has become quite modern but still when it comes to women's safety it's still you know it's not that much right now uh, evolved. So I would say that yes you are right. But then again you know our company Integrity it does have a policy of providing cap services to the females post 10 p.m. Right? Yeah, yeah, that's right. It's, it's actually one of the great perks of working at Integrity. So it's providing not only to women, but also the uh, other employees as well. We are providing the cap facilities if you are working in late shift timing. So yes, definitely there are problems, but there are solutions as well. So how do you think can we change this ideology of Indian parents 
in-laws, husbands to change their mindset of working the, you know, the cons of working in the Indian offshoring accounting industry. Okay, so like as I mentioned earlier, uh, it worked out for me very well and I guess that's how it will work out for everyone also. So a little persuasion and you know, a better way of explaining them because it's still, uh, it's still a concept, you know, that not everyone is aware of. So we need to explain our parents and families like what the offshoring is and why does it require us to, you know, step out of our houses and work till late shift timings and that way. So a little persuasion did a good, great work for me. And also there are live examples of you. We can see Lena ma'am and Saloni ma'am. They have they have handled it all really well. Their career along with the family responsibilities and everything. So yeah, also, you know, we can explain the benefits that we have Saturday, Sunday week off, right? So it's not generally a case when you are working in an Indian Firm. So that's one of the greatest, you know, perks of working in offshore. Also, the compensation ratio that is, you know, provided in the Indian industry, it's it's quite, you know, we are offering quite more than what it is being paid in an Indian industry. You've correctly summed up the term where there's a will, there's a way. Yeah. Yeah. If a female is pursuing CA, why do you think she should opt for the offshore industry? Okay, so not to exaggerate a lot, but you know, a huge chunk of our clients are women, uh, women clients, and they are CPAs, women CPAs, and they are doing a fantastic job and with the you know the great knowledge and experience that they have. So I personally think that if 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 we are if a woman is an inter CA or a dropout, they should definitely consider offshoring as their you know as their career because. I myself did that thing and you know the main reason was I could I could uh, go for CPA after that that's what the thought I had when I started so with the knowledge and that you know the inter CA degree also the knowledge and the information that it provides it's quite sufficient you know it's already half a way to start in the offshore it's not just a fresh start if you have that much of the knowledge especially I mean it's a booming industry right now definitely, right? definitely. the scope for growth is massive yeah so yeah great choice for people who want to come out of just the Indian practice and yes. move to the offshore yeah, industry. Definitely. Yeah. So Jimmy, what is your take on Indian women empowering themselves by standing up for their basic rights like education, having a job or taking a stand for themselves basically? Okay, Shubham. So I have a question for you on this. Uh, do you ask this to men? <laughs> That's no. the dilemma, right? No, right? Yeah. yeah. So that's what I want to say. If if we are not asking this to man, then why do we ask it? Why do we have to ask it to women as well, right? According to me, it's equally important for a, and women to be independent as it is important for a man to be. See, India is no more India it, it used to be, like, yeah. right? With the economic developments, the gender equality and the challenging and challenging the stereotypes it would definitely require both men and women to come together shake their hands and work in that direction to get a global recognition so a woman should you will also agree to this a woman a woman should always be an inspiration for an another woman and that's how i i see it okay so and you know coincidentally a major part of my team they are also women no offense to men though no, truly, Jimmy, you have been an inspiration to a lot of women in our company itself. Thank Not you. just to your team members, but to a lot of other women. So, truly commendable. Thanks. Thanks, Shubham. So, Jimmy, after all those hard-hitting eye-openers, one last piece of advice from you for our viewers. I would like to give advice to, first of all, the friends and family or family of mine and the fraternity of the inter-CA dropouts to just remember, it's not just the end of the world. It might be just a beginning of new world. Please consider offshoring as, as you know, as your career option, as it has immense opportunities in the upcoming future. Also, I would like to tell a quote by Summer Redstone. This is specifically for the ones that are, you know, giving their best and waiting for the favorable outcomes to come. He says, uh, success is not built on success. It's built on failures. It's built on frustration. And sometimes it's built on catastrophe. So hang in there and please do not give up on your dreams. Thank you. Oh wow, that's inspiring. That brings us an end to another great episode of Integrity Insider. Thank you, Jimmy, so much for sharing your insights with us and the great piece of advice that you've shared with everybody. It was enriching truly and we feel proud to have people like you, great women like you to be inspiring a lot of young females that we have in our organization. Thanks a lot, Jimmy. Thanks, Shivam. It was it was really a good experience and it was it was more pleasure because I was sharing it with again a woman. So thank you so much for calling me on this. Oh, you're very thank welcome. You. Guys, like, share and subscribe to our channel. In case you have any questions for us or for Jimmy, please drop in a question down below. Bye-bye.